So you might have tried many Linux distros so far and got bored. Are you in search of trying out a brand new Linux distro of 2021? Hey guys, my name is KSK Ryle. In this video, I'm going to show you the top six brand new fresh Linux distros of 2021. Now these distros, which I will be showing you in a moment, are completely new to the Linux world and some of them have received a major upgrade that indeed help in growing the Linux community to the next level. So let's discover the fresh brand new Linux distros of 2021. At number one, we're having a Peer OS Monterey. Now, this is a brand new Linux distribution that comes with a lot of useful features, a beautiful design, and regular updates. The Peer OS Monterey is the carbon copy of Mac OS Monterey. The developers have worked and pre configured the Plasma desktop to look like a Mac OS Monterey. Now, in one word, I would say it's outstanding. From menu bar to the dock, everything looks fantastic. They have optimized the Plasma desktop to work as intended and gives a true experience of Mac OS. Now within a menu bar, you can see the Peer logo, which stays persistent, just like the Apple logo, which shows the main system controls. Now, the goal of this OS is to give a Mac OS experience to the Linux user. Now this distro is based on Ubuntu, you can use an APT or App Store to install or update any packages. Now overall I would say Peer OS is a modern Linux distro that is heavily configured a Plasma desktop to achieve the look of Mac OS. So if you are the one who never tried Mac OS, then get the Peer OS installed on your system for free. The Qt Fish OS is a brand new Linux desktop environment that runs on the top of most Linux distros like Manjaro, Arch Linux, and more. The main goal of Qt Fish is to provide a visually stunning desktop experience for an end user. Now, this brand new UI is made using a Qt and KDE frameworks. Design-wise, Qt Fish looks like a Zing OS, which is only focused on tablets. But unlike a Zing OS, a Qt Fish is for the desktop users that can be controlled through the mouse pointer and keyboard. Now speaking about the desktop, this looks fantastic. Now at the bottom you can see a dock which is a customizable. You can change the size of the dock and you can also align the dock into a different sections of the desktop through the settings. Now like deep in desktop, the settings page allows you to tweak the desktop. You can change the themes, accent colors, fonts, and fractional scaling. Now overall, I would say uh, this OS resembles a Mac OS and iPad OS a lot, but this could be a better for beginners. Now for those who want to try a Manjaro with a Qt Fish desktop, then this one is the one you must give it a shot. Now trust me, it's a worth of trying and you won't get disappointed.
Now RLX OS is the brand new and very unique Linux distro that is independent and built from scratch, meaning unlike other distros, RLX is a standalone Linux distro that is made from the root. Now, it's a fantastic Linux operating system and uses a GNOME as its default desktop environment. Now this OS is built on the top of a solid rock immutable base. Now this way you will be always on the safer side. Now RLX is a completely free for both personal and commercial usage that provides a complete freedom to the end user. Now one of the key features of this OS is this is an immutable system and uses an overlay file system to secure the root. Now this helps the roots as the users are not directly writing or modifying the system files. Now, RLX offers a virtual assistant that helps you increase your productivity. Now, other features include a portable system. Now, this way you can use a multiple versions of this OS and also offers a support for Flatpak and Snapstall. Now, lastly, RLX comes with an extensible package manager. It uses the appctl command to handle all the package management and its functionality can be increased by adding a more plugins or modules. Also, this OS natively is support app images and a dedicated market is available from where you can download your favorite applications. Now, overall, I would say this distro is going to stand out in the Linux community for a long time. Now, if you are the one who is bored of Debian, Arch, or Red Hat, then this OS is the one you should try for sure. Now Archcraft is an yet another Linux distro based on Arch Linux. Now this Linux distro has a pre-configured settings and comes with a lightweight applications which makes it super minimal and fast. Now one thing I like about this distro, it uses a very less amount of RAM on your system which sums around a 300 megabytes on idle conditions. Now speaking about the UI, Archcraft is a super clean. It's very minimal, beautiful, and gives you multiple styles to use. Archcraft doesn't come with any desktop environment like GNOME, KDE. Now, instead, it uses a no desktop environment with some lightweight and heavily configured window managers. Now, Archcraft is built on the top of Arch Linux, and it's the purest form of Arch Linux you can call, which won't use any custom kernel. So if you're the one who wants a very lightweight with highly configured window managers, then Archcraft is the one you must try for sure. Well, this is not a brand new distro, but PopOS has updated with a brand new features that look completely different from scratch. Now, PopOS 21.04 is based on Ubuntu, which comes with a brand new kernel, a new version of core applications, security updates, and more. Now, this year, System76 has added a more changes to the desktop out of the box by creating a brand new desktop experience called Cosmic. Now, Cosmic stands for Computer Operating System Main Interface Components, which uses a GNOME as a base and tweaked a lot to make it more functional and unique. Now this indeed provides a new desktop experience to an end user. Now by default you can get a dock on the bottom which is a customizable from settings. Now by pressing the super key launches the search bar from where you can quickly launch any application and start using it. The all new touchpad gestures, new workspaces layout, app drawer looks completely different from the standard vanilla experience of GNOME.
Now, lastly, we're having a Solus 4.3. Now, just like RLX, Solus is an independent Linux distro that provides a unique experience of the Linux desktop. Solus 4.3 is a new update to the series of Solus 4 that delivers a new desktop environment update, software stacks, and hardware support. Solus 4.3 uses all new GNOME 40 as a default desktop environment that delivers a minimal and impeccable desktop experience to an end user. With the Solus 4.3, the team has added a more features and changes. This OS comes with the Linux kernel 5.13 and provides support for Apple M1 laptops. The built-in applications has also received a major upgrade. Now all of the applications are upgraded to use the latest versions. Now, Solus uses an EOPKG command to manage all of the package tools from terminal. Now, overall, I would say if you are looking for a GNOME 40 desktop with an independent yet powerful Linux distro, then Solus 4.3 is the one you should install right now. And that's pretty much it and these are the top 6 fresh Linux distros of 2021 that you should try. Now if in case you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down there and don't forget to subscribe and consider hitting the bell icon to receive the post notifications. Thanks for watching this video. This has been KSK Ryle. I will see you in my next video.